Hello and welcome to Imperion Galactic Survival. I've not played this in a long time, have I? Yes, I have decided to boot this game up again and it's time to do another run on Star Salvage. So in the past I have done the basic uh, temperate planet start. Last year I did the space start, which I did a terrible job in that first part, but uh, we got through it in the end. And uh, this time we're looking at the arid start. We're going to go with the arid junkyard uh, this does actually have a story i should point out there are two starter locations for arid i think it's the same with temperate as well uh starship graveyard that is a work in progress that one by the way i had a little peek at it and it looks very interesting so stay tuned there's always more star salvage coming out but yeah here you've got arid junkyard with no story it's a slightly different start but we're actually going for there's the snow start the two temperate starts we're going for riada i assume so yeah that's the name of it these are the settings i'm going with standard starting equipment the only thing that is kind of definitely beneficial to me is i get to keep the toolbar items this is just to avoid death loops potentially um, they're not fun for anyone <laughs> so but we, we still have to go grab our backpack uh, everything else is pretty much normal as you can see apart from resources are low and enemy presence is going to be high their difficulty is standard just in case anything's a little bit unbalanced also i suck so you know and of course we're playing with CPU, mass and all that. Uh, right, so a lot's changed in Star Salvage since I've last played it. There's been a lot of reworking of the uh, the progression trees and all that. So let's stop chatting away and doing nothing and chat away and do something. Uh, normally I cut out loading screens, but as you can see here, there is a lot going on. The uh, Nodal DM has actually gone ahead and added some tips here, as you can see. Uh, well, this is an update actually. So 10 new junk storage POI. So I remember those from the last playthrough. So we're going to have more variety there, which is really cool. Uh, that's going to be awesome. The capability to harvest crops with a harvester for a larger yield. That's interesting. That's a pretty good tip. So if we do some farming, as you can see here, look at this. You can literally start a farm. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I swear farming is in everything these days. I know it's a bit of a joke, isn't it? Especially with Nintendo games. Every game's a, a bloody farming simulator. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see it in here. We already had fishing last year as well, added, didn't we? And um, I think there might have been Eden or something like that. Added that. Anyway, here we go. Emergency situation detected. Termination of suspended animation complete. Welcome back, Chimpy13. Warning. Unbelievable atmosphere detected. Hurry and access the personal locker and equip your oxygen suit in the armor locker. Yeah, don't mind if I do. So we don't need... Um, wait, where's the... There it is, armor locker. We do need the armor locker. Don't know what made me think we didn't. Okay, now you should be able to breathe easier. However, I'm afraid I must inform you that we have not arrived at our intended destination. You don't say. Furthermore... Assessment of the damage of the cryo module indicates that it has been uh, that it has been in its current position for at least ten years, possibly more. What limited information I have indicates that the cryo module has been ejected from the UES Leo and has crashed on the planet with an unbreathable atmosphere. Beyond that, I have no other information. So this is our salvage and survival handy assistant talking to me, or Sasha for short, perhaps one of the consoles in this module retains some information about the situation. Try to find a working console and I'll see if I can retrieve any data. Okay, working console you say. Well, we are getting hit up pretty bad by radiation and temperature here. So, can we access any of these? Oh, I did not, I did not intend to sleep for eight hours. That was not, I did not want to do that. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this terminal appears to be working. Is that a firestorm coming in? Oh, gosh. <laughs> we need to get through this. All right, arrival log, entry two. It was a mistake sending out a distress call. When we first detected the approach sig approaching signal, we thought that, that one of the other United Earth ships had found us. We couldn't have been more wrong. The ship that found us was of unknown alien design. They opened fire on us as soon as they were in range. We're heading toward an arid planet nearby, hoping to evade our pursuers. I have ordered that the attached cryo modules be ejected, so that if we don't make it, perhaps our passengers can survive. Captain Eirling. Da -da -da. We've reached level two. 
Oh, well, I'm midair. Fantastic. Uh, I've saved the log record in your journey book for, in your PDA. You should try to find more crew logs. Anytime you find another crew log, I'll record it in your journey book. It appears that the US Leo was attacked by a species native to this galaxy. If I could link to the Leo's communication system, I may be able to pick up signals from the area and learn more about this race. I'll try and scan the area. I might pick up the US Leo's distress signal if it is still active. When I scan the area, I suggest you review your basic training courses. I'll let you know when I find something. In order to help you survive in any hostile environment, the United Earth Fleet has provided you with the option to undertake basic training, which once complete will allow you to specialize in one or more areas of training. All right, let's begin. Birds. Okay. Learning to defend yourself from hostile creatures will keep you alive longer. Yes, that will. Your survival tool has a defense mode, which is useful for defending yourself against hostile creatures when you have no other weapons. Open your inventory, craft it. So it's the survival tool. You know what that's all about, I should imagine. There we go. What have we got? We've got a heater. Small constructor. That's pretty good. Starting off with a small constructor is nice. Right. Body temperature is getting a little bit low. Let's try and at least normalize that. Radiation is only one. Like, it's going to go up very slowly. So actually, our body temperature is fine, to be honest. Oh, hello. You spawned in, didn't you? Huh. Defense mode, there we go. Trash Tarantula. I love the names of the uh, spiders. They have some funny names. You trash. Right, give me give me your giblets. There it is. Bug meat. It's the bug meat that we want there. So what we can actually do is make a nice meal out of that. Open the PDA to continue. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll wait because I think it might want me to do something with that food potentially. Okay. GP13, I've located an energy signature that matches the distress signal of the UES Leo. It appears to still be in orbit around the planet. You should finish your basic training and try to find a way to reach it. Okay. Let's get this over with. First of all, I'm going to press F5 and we're going to go ahead and take the drone just to get a look at what's going on here. The ability to create oxygen is an important part of survival in space or on a planet uh, with an unbreathable atmosphere. A water or CO2 condenser condenses particles in the atmosphere of a planet and creates oxygen. Yeah, you know what this is. Good stuff. Is that? That is, that's a, that's a ship of some sorts. Oof. I don't like that. Do not like that. Uh, it's getting a bit dark because I was a Muppet and sped up time. I do have a jetpack, yes. Oh, what made me think I, w I wouldn't have one? Can I salvage stuff from this? I wonder. So let's say I go salvage mode. Wait, do I have two? Cannot change this. Uh, no. But I did get 12 junk shards. Uh, okay, we do need to place a water or CO2 condenser. Right, what do I need to make it then? Well, you better tell me, because I do not know. I figured it would be here. I just realized it's probably in my. Um, it's going to be here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Three carbon substrates. So there's quite an easy way to do this. We could just literally grab some rocks over here, I possibly anyway. So let's go to resource mode. There we go. It's getting dark now. Let's see what we get from the rocks. Crushed stone. Might need to cut down a tree as well if we can find one. I thought that was a massive uh, capital vessel there for a moment. Oh, I see a uh, junk storage in that direction. So how about this? We sleep for another eight hours. Just to skip some of the night. Some of the night. I think it was west. Yeah. Got other directions. What's that? That's a hover vessel. More interested in the junk storage though. Oh, it is cold. It is a little bit cold here. 
Okay, good. At least it's not too cold that we can't use this to warm up. So we're going to hop along like so. Huh. Does this not work anymore? The old uh, bunny hopping technique. I don't think it does. That's funny. <laughs> they finally got rid of it, did they? Uh, right. You're in resource mode. There we go. We can get this tree. Thank you very much. All right. All right, let's actually put some of these resources here. Grab some carbon substrate. Glad it's uh, quiet around here. There we go, we get that water O2 condenser. We still need fuel for it. Uh, what the devil are you? Oh, you're the detector, okay. Do you know what? What do I need? We need to find some electronics at some point, so. Yeah, we'll have to see. All right. Very good. Let's go. Um, west. That's it. So you might notice... Oh gosh, I need to get out of that habit. <laughs> you might have noticed we've now taken on 0.1 rads of uh, yeah, radiation. So... Yes, it's going up slowly, and it only affects us when we get to 1. I'm going to grab this tree along the way. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's go. There's a drone there. I'm going to go into defense mode just in case... Oh, did it just go through the junk storage or behind it? I want to kill it, but I might wait just a moment. Stay safe in here. Okay, so we, we found some basic resources here. This might be enough to get us started, especially if we can find some electronics. Finding much more advanced things than uh, electronics. There we go. Found it. Is that a, uh, a shield generator? Rebuilt shield generator. That's interesting. Bullet casings. Huh. Oh. That's cool. I think that's the drone. The sound of the drone. There's two of them. I'm gonna leave them be. Just in case they, they can fight back now. Okay, that's where we started. Seen something over there. Wreckage base. Sure. Let's uh let's go there. And we're going to go through these rocks here, which might have some nice little resources in them. Uh, we might be able to build that damn rubbish bike, actually. So, let's... Or something was going above me there. Uh, what do we need? Yeah, here we go. Motorbike construction kit. Okay. No protection, no storage. We have to unlock it in the tech tree. Okay, that's fine. Makes perfect sense to be honest. Basic survival uh, we might come under. It's very basic. Ah, so the motorbike's actually under the exploration tree, so we're not gonna be able to use that, unfortunately. I'm just hauling this around. That's long. All right, let's make our way to that, that base that we saw over here. We do need to start producing some oxygen as well at some point. Alright, let's see if we find anything interesting here. I see a rock. That looks like an iron bearing rock. Now, we're not actually going to get iron ingots from it. We're going to get components, as you'll see in a moment. Steel plates. There you go. So, it's stuff that's related to the rock type that you're, you're mining there. Uh, that looks like silicon. So, some silicon rubble. There we go, carbon substrate, electron, that got us a lot. Generous. Oh, some natural stimulants, some coffee. That's all right, isn't it? Hello, wreckage over there. All right, it's nice to get all these components. 
there's that wreckage race. That is not as grandiose as I was hoping. That is... I know that. I recognise that type of rubble. Uh, yeah, what have we got down here? What, what's, what's that over there? A spider nest. Let's avoid you. <laughs> not really interested in making friends with spiders. Or enemies. Probably just enemies. Okay, here we go. Ah, now. Here's one very particular element of Star Salvage. So, we've discovered a new faction, the Interspace Salvage Industries. So, these guys we can trade scrap for scrap, I guess. Welcome, Terran, to the Riada Trash Heap. I'm here on behalf of the Interspace Salvage Industries, or the ISI. Maybe we'll call them that. If you would like to buy or sell any salvage scrap, I'm sure we can come to a fair deal. Um, let's find out what you are. I'm surprised you haven't heard about us. ISI is the largest salvage and reclamation company in Andromeda. We have scrap yards throughout the galaxy and do business with all major factions, except the Xerox, of course. That's good to know. Let's see what you have. So here we can pick up some scrap, and we can basically use this scrap to... Oh. Ooh, salvage token. Very nice. So yeah, we can pick up these scrap to build certain things. So basically they... Yeah, you'll, you'll see. You'll see if you go into the tech tree. Let's say you go into salvaging here. Build certain items with... Uh, yeah, engineering scrap. As you see there for the multi-tool, the salvage multi-tool. Uh, you'll use combat ones for anything combat related. Like the junk rifle, I imagine. Yeah, military scrap. Junk cannon, again. Then you've got engineering components as well. There's the improvised shield generator, we kind of the rebuilt one. That's the thing we just discovered, wasn't it? That's made up of quite a lot. Hmm. Ex expl uh, exploratory scrap as well. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, let's have a little look at this token. These tokens are given by Interspace Salve Industries to individuals in return for their services. They can be used to purchase very special items from certain ISI vendors. Oh, we're getting a bit cold. So let's uh, place this down. That's a bit better. All right. Now I can see on my map. My map. There is a it looks like a small vessel or a hover vessel somewhere about. Oh, did I just ignore a big old... I thought it was a capital vessel in view there. No, it's these birds. These, these birds keep freaking me out, man. <laughs> Alright, uh, we don't need the torch on. I do want to have a little look at this junk copper vessel. I want to see if we can get that thing up and running. Uh, I think I... What's that white line that was going across there? That's weird. I think we will use this as our... Yeah, the cryo module would be our temporary shelter. Uh, oh, hello. More rubble, silicon out here. I'll take it. I need to stop jumping. Stop jumping, Chimpy. Stop it. You can't do that anymore. And now we found our first copper bearing. Give me that copper rubble. Some more electronics. Very nice. Not much in the way of food, is there? It's kind of just occurred to me. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is we've got well we've got a little bit of food actually I think I was on about this earlier wasn't I uh, right let's place this down we want to make some food but let's just put you down first successfully completed it fuel your condenser how oh, the devil do we do that to it you say well fortunately we can actually make some bio basic basic uh, trethanol this uses wood chips which obviously comes from the logs here and that's how we will fuel it. So make a couple of those. It's gonna take a while. Fuel generally takes a long time to make. I've always found. Uh, yeah, anything else we wanna do right now? I don't think so, I think we're good. Let's take a little look at our, at our system here. Interesting. Or Madra. Interesting. All right, let's take a look. How are we doing? There we go. We've got one fuel. Let's place that in here, shall we? If you don't have access to an oxygen generator, you can turn water into oxygen. Your suit constructor can craft it. Yeah, we know that. Easy peasy. 
I know that, but I always forget it, I've noticed. <laughs> to be honest, having the water is often good just to reduce um, your temperature sometimes. Right, let's, I want to go ahead and throw a second one in there. So we will be able to get oxygen. Now food is the next thing we need to address. So craft emergency oxygen. I need to wait for water to actually be made there. Uh, where did that bug meat go? Is it oh, spoiled? Oh, I'm a moron. Okay, we're going to have to like move then. So, yeah, I don't... I'm such a... I am an absolute muppet. Uh, not really sure what to do then. I don't think that guy had any food. He might have had a fridge actually. That we can steal food from. Actually, no, they're a faction. We don't really want to get on their bad side, do we? So no, we probably can't steal from them. We might want to head down to the water there. We might find some tear little in pods, whatever they're called again. Okay. I think we do want to do that. Do we now? Let me just take a quick look everywhere. Might be some spiders by these trees, potentially. There's that hollow vessel. Should we give it a quick inspection? I don't suppose you've got like anything good in here, do you? Ration packs in a fridge, maybe? Got a few hover engines though. Right, we are dying of starvation. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. No point using oxygen because. Ah, oh, there's some bugs. Yes! Okay, cool. I've got everything ready. But we are on the verge of starvation right now. An annoying cricket. I think I'm the one that's been annoying here. Okay. Let's get back. Uh, food please. Bug, bug meat, bug meat, bug meat. Give me the bug meat, please. Uh, hello. Keeping it, I'm keeping my eye on you. Come on, hurry up. All right, managed to just ward off starvation. I think we need to worry about oxygen now. So let's top that up. Ooh, a little bit quicker, aren't ya? Excellent. Got another three of those. Alright, so does it require five? It does. Yeesh. Well, there's one more down. There's two more. Okay. And I'm seeing... It looks like a spider. I think it is. Mm-mm. That was delicious. Okay, it's only a level one. So you should be quick to dispose of. Oh, ten. That's, that's two then we can get from you. Ooh. Crafty. There we go. And one. <laughs> Total opposite. Alright, let's regulate our temperature a little bit. Nope. Wrong, wrong one. There we go. Okay. Oxygen's starting to get a little bit low as well. And we've got one more tank there. We do have that O2 generator, so we will be able to get some more oxygen. I'll just about keep us going. Here we go. Alright. That's a bit better, isn't it? Now, we did see that spot that spider over here. Are you out on your lonesomes, Mr. Spider? I think you might be. That's fine. I'm just going to chase you down.
Ah, another 10. And there's more bugs over here. Good. I'm gonna go hunt these then. Do have to be careful because these are a little bit more likely to uh, get me. Alright. There we go, 15. Do you know what that might do for now? There's bugs everywhere down there. So I think we can probably just make this. Make three more bugs here and let's return back to our, I guess, our cryopod. Just a quick warning, remember sprinting does increase your uh, consumption rate. Of, oh my gosh, that's the, sorry, I was going to say your um, hunger. It decreases your hunger quicker. That is the capital vessel that we saw, wasn't it? I wonder if they're related to the uh, ISI, possibly. Might be. It looks kind of junkerish, doesn't it? Okay, so we've just taken more oxygen. Whoopee. We ne it now wants us to make an emergency O2 tank here, which we will absolutely do. There we go. Most constructors can also craft oxygen bottles. An engineer can learn to craft an oxygen generator that will extract oxygen directly from a source of water. Looks like I can breathe easy now. Aha. All right, yes, you can take damage. You'll need to cra um, craft medicines. So here we're looking at making some bandages and an ointment. So again, just in the survival suit. Let's just quickly do that. What do we need? Plant fibers. Why you, why you no plant fibers? We need herbal leaves for that. Okay. How the devil are we going to find all that? Herbal leaves. Probably back down there, actually. But I want to look at you. What are you? Yeah, that is the capital vessel that we saw. Definitely, it definitely is it. Uh, all right. We'll leave that there. Might grab that detector, actually. Seems like a good idea. We'll get a better idea of what's around us. So we need plant fibers and plant protein. Well, if I had plant protein, I probably would have used that already for... Um, Yeah, I would have used that already, I reckon. <laughs> Knowing me. Uh, okay. What are we looking at here? Kind of looking for components. Carbon substrate. Plant fibers need wood logs. That's it. So let's grab that. I think that's all we can really do right now. Sure, I'll take that. We'll load it up with oxygen and stuff. All right, bandages, three bandages and some ointment. That's what you want from me. Plant protein. Gonna let you uh, leave you be. Oh wait, we need to use the detector. Definitely. All right, show me what you've got. I like what you've got. And there's not really actually anything around, is there? Chunk of a vessel there. Another cu few curious things down this way. Okay, let's go take a look at them. Well, there's a couple more salvage drones. That little canister on it. <laughs> I think it is. What, it's spraying the crops? Oh, hello. Food. Could use some lunch. So you might have noticed from that rock, we actually picked up some engineering scrap. Uh, so there you go, there's our first item of scrap and we'll be able to use that to make a few uh, salvaged components at some point. Uh, they will weigh me down a bit, but that's okay. Right, I'm just gonna stock up on everything. Turns out everything down here is a, um, they're all hover vessels. That looks like the, the ladybug, whatever it's called. It's actually top of O2. All right, let's go. Kind of looking for, do you know what? That might be what we're looking for over here. Oh, don't you think about it, because I am. All right, there we 
we go. More meat. That is a bigger looking hover vessel. Well, there's something meaty. Might fill me up a little bit more. If we can kill one of those, that'd be great. Uh, loads of silicon rocks here. Silicon rubble, and we're getting medical scrap from it, which is interesting. Yeah, very much so. And it looks like we might be seeing some plant protein. Possibly, or are those just uh, buds? Let's take a look. Kind of hoping to pick up herbal leaves here as well, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So, yes, plant protein. There you go. So we want to make three of these, which, to be honest, yeah, I'd have done anyway. Whether, whether or not the game's telling me to do it or not. Having bandages is always handy. Um, what's this red flower? Nothing. Looks cool though, adds a bit of colour. Uh, yeah. I think herbal leaves might be by the water in that case. Can we make two more a year? Yeah, I think so. So I think maybe we'll head back this way then. Pick up that plant protein. Uh, what's this? That's a, some iron rubble. As for the ointment, yeah. Yeah, we need the plant protein anyway <laughs> for that. Don't know how, how long it's going to last because I imagine it doesn't last very long. Degradation time 23. Not a lot. More than I was expecting though. What have we got here? Herbal leaves. There you go, baby. That's what we're talking about. Probably walked past tons of those, didn't I? <laughs> Knowing me. Sort of thing I would do. Right. Now that we've got those. Oh, we need to actually put them here. Keep that in here. Oh, hey, you just, you just maybe drop the thing. One constant threat that many would-be survivors overlook is the need for food. Listen, I have not been overlooking that. Uh, there are many types of food that grow. And something, something, plant protein. Your suit can make energy bars, which is exactly what I was just about to do. Who doesn't love reprocessed plant protein? Said a vegan, I'm guessing. A lot of people don't like that. I'm not vegan, by the way. No, no, no. <laughs> um, right. How many does it want me to make? Three. I'm good. I'm good with that. We've also got two health packs there, which is nice. There's more herbal leaves, right? The galaxy is filled with junk. That's very existential. Uh, from derelict ships floating through space to crashed vessels and those abandoned as junk. The amount of salvageable material is extraordinary. Welcome to Star Salvage, people. In order to survive in this galaxy, you will need to learn how to make the most of the most worthless looking pile of trash. Okay, the first step is to claim junk for your own, so you need a core. So we're learning how to build a core. Uh, very good. Oh, is it too hot now? It would appear to be. So you want me to make a core, yeah? Is that what you're saying? What do you need? Lots of computers. Hmm. Oh, we can make it. I'll take it. And we've got ourselves a ration pack there. That is that is good. Uh, looks like it might be starting to get dark, though. Which ain't so good. Hmm. Place a core. Once we've built it, anyway. Uh, is there anything else we want to build while we're here? I don't know. I think we're getting we're doing fine with the defense. The little uh, salvage gun for now, though. It's so annoying the way it does that. <laughs> is that a bug or a feature? All right, here we go. Got what we need. We're up to 0.3 rads now. Kind of want to find a small vessel that is in reasonable condition, or hover vessel rather. I suppose we'll take a look at this one, and then if not, maybe we'll look at the ladybird back there. That one near us, um, up there, actually might have been enough. I think it had a forward thruster as well. 
It had uh, at least one, I think two lift thrusters and then one forward, so it would technically be functional. Not right now. Not, not, not in the mood for any of your nonsense. Hello? What are you then? That looks like a harvester on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it is a harvesting module. Drill module, lots of storage, repository extensions. There's a fridge. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Wireless. It's got wheels. Interesting little thing, isn't it? What the hell was that? Oh, God. But I say, did the Xerox spawn in on me? Uh, yeah, no. No, no, no. Uh, I don't think we'll go for that. I instead like the one that was close to our little hideout. Uh, we'll need to go back there anyway just to stock up on oxygen, so... I'll meet you when I get there. Alright, here we are. Where can we place this core then? There we go. Tucks in nicely there. Congratulations! You have finished basic training. Now ready to choose which area to specialize in. Well, isn't that interesting? There are four types of specialties to choose from. So this is the feature of Star Salvage, is you can pick a couple of specialties. You start off with one, get so good at it, then you can get another. Each specialization has its own perks. I can hear footsteps beside me. Combat specializes photo focuses on fighting. Essentially, you also have access to armors and shield generators. So that might be very useful. Also, the Hellstorm turret is fun as anything. The engineering specialization focuses on construction and resource gathering. I think I'm going to be looking at this this time. Uh, I've actually gone in the past with the exploration. Uh, so you can also get CPU extenders, teleporters. These are all really good. Better quality fuel packs potentially. Very, very useful. I just think it's so useful, the engineering specialization. I think I might have to do it. Uh, ultimately, you would even be able to craft very powerful handheld drill that has a combat mode that can put other weapons to the shame. This was various high-end starship thrusters and even more efficient warp drive that uses a quarter amount of the pentaxid. Given the last playthrough, I really struggled for pentaxid at times. I think we're going to have to... Yeah, we've got to go down engineering. Uh, that said, exploration is a lot of fun. You also get uh, you get some unique builds in it. Uh, they also have an awesome sniper rifle, I should point out. Good detector that can scan an entire planet. That is mad. Medical is if you're playing with multiple people. If you're doing co-op, then it's good if one person grabs medical. Uh, if there's at least, at least two of you, really three. Uh, but you can also have, yeah craft powerful augments that grant the user bonuses to health, stamina, food, movement speed as well. Want to go all Sonic the Hedgehog on them. Uh, right, so let's do it. Once you've reached rank 3 in any specialization, you'll be offered the chance to complete an advanced training course which will allow you to select an additional specialization if you wish, or you can gain 500 unlock points to help you unlock your specialization's high tier items or devices. Once you ra reach rank 5 in any, You'll be able to select an additional specialization if you wish. Or so basically you can unlock three specializations if you want, by the looks of it. That's that's how I read that. Correct me if I'm wrong, no it all DM will, I'm sure, say something in the comments uh, if I've got that wrong. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. So this time around, I've always gone with uh, exploration. I'm gonna change it up and we're gonna go engineering today. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, was that a salvage drone? Yeah, it is. Weird ass salvage drones, man. Okay, we did the thing. Now what? We're at point 0.4 radiation. We kind of need to, uh, can we sit in here and avoid radiation? Yeah, we can. Huh. Well, that's nice. All right, I kind of want to start working on this. So what have we got? We've got one reverse thruster. We've got two reverse thrusters, one to the side. We've got, that looks like a fuel tank, no? Yeah. Oh wait, hang on, my salvage. Uh, what am I using to fuel that? Ah, right, salvage charges, cool. I don't even remember being given that. I completely missed that, sorry about that. Uh, you've got a 
spotter fuel. Uh, I don't think we're going to get this in time. Hmm. What are you... Are you repairing it for me? What were you just doing there? I feel invaded. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Let's settle down just now. What can we build? I think is the thing. So we can make some scrap thrusters. This uses engineering scrap. So I don't know if you remember, but uh, we're able to buy some. The problem is we actually have no money to our name, so it doesn't actually matter at this time. Uh, Harvest Court, multiplayer use only, that's interesting. Anyway, that is something we can build, are these little scrap thrusters, which would do the job quite nicely. Of course, our specialization, we can also just make regular thrusters without that. We've got engineering components, we've got one engineering scrap. So that might work. I don't know, let's find out. Let's unlock a few devices. So we've got small devices here, as you can see. We really, really want something like maybe a small generator. We've already got the fuel tank in there. Let's go to engineering then. Would be cool just to start an SV from scratch. That would be kind of nice. Hover starter, small thruster. And possibly ground repulsor. In fact, we might be able to just get by ground repulsors actually. I'm wondering. Maybe that's the way to go. Did you stop? What are you doing? I wanna know if he's actually like repairing it. Hmm, weird. Uh, <laughs> it's just very strange. So there we go, we've got our thrusters there. We're short on electronics and the engineering components are a little bit of a bummer. We really, we really need some engineering scrap. Now we can get that through harvesting actual like components from other SVs or hover vessels, sorry. So I think that might be the aim of the game here. As we go back down to these junk hover vessels or other ones. That one down there was particularly good, wasn't it? Uh, what's over here? This, this is really close, apparently. Let me guess, a spider nest. Well, it can't be that's a spider nest. Yeah, that must be one then, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> Let's go back to the cryo module. Top up on oxygen. As you can see, we've run out. It's, it's about to uh, cease operation. Uh, we've got quite a lot there, so that's pretty good. It's getting dark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start leaving things here. Just to save on space, we're going to need to save on space. So really, most things here that you see, I'm going to dump it all in there. I don't think I need this at all, to be honest. Got the junk shard, but we don't... Do we have the uh, junk rifle? We do. What am I not using this for? Again, I just avoid... I missed something very obvious there. Uh, I guess we'll give this a little test run. In a moment. I think that'll probably do for now. So we're now much lighter. Uh, it is, however, getting quite dark, so or about to settle down sunset. So I think we're going to just make sure there's nothing else in here that we've maybe missed. There might be, there, there could well be. But I'm not seeing anything obvious, so I'm just gonna get by. Have a, a little cheeky eight hours. It's really bloody dark. Uh, but the sun will rise at some point. And now you're you know, you're messing around with my cryo module. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and actually go back to this junk of a vessel here because I think this is going to be particularly valuable. This one. Uh, we'll also res uh, mine any resources along the way that we find. All right. So here's. Uh, around the bugs again. Let's test out the junk rifle. Okay, well, if I hadn't missed a shot, we probably wouldn't have, a, have a, had any issue there. Uh, now let's compare it to this. 
So the Junk Rifle definitely does more damage, uh, but obviously this is free, essentially. There wasn't really much in the way of bug meat there, was it? In fact, there wasn't any. Why are you cheaping out on me, hmm? Never mind. Uh, let's actually have all these little bars here. And there we go. Top everything up that we can. I can see another rock. There it is. Alright, brilliant. A few more bits and bobs. So let's see what we can actually get from this. We've got a nice, that's a nice thruster actually. I uh, wish I had a core for that. I do wish I had a core for that. Hmm. Do you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna salvage this as best we can. Sorry, wrong load. Let's see what we get. Steel plate electronics. Perhaps I should have built another core just to get that nice thrust. That's a medium thruster. Two optical fiber. So nothing in, in terms of engineering scrap here. Figured maybe we would see some. There's another thruster on the side there. Huh. What about these harvester modules? One of them's been blown up. There's a lot of medium thrusters here. This is there's a lot more going on here than I thought there was. I mean with these thrusters we're, we're done, aren't we? We don't actually need to uh do much else. Is, is there a hover? Did I get rid of the last hover engine that was there? Not sure. Now I'm debating whether or not to go through with something else instead and come back with a core. Right, there's four medium thrusters here. I don't even know if I can carry that many. All I know is we only need three. So I'm going to go ahead, salvage this one and see what happens. Probably not going to get much because we don't have a core in it. Right, we've got that engineering component. Now, the thing with engineering components is they do have degradation time. So if we want to build some thrusters, we're going to need to be quick about this. Okay, let's run back, shall we? We need to go back to the cryo chamber, cryo module rather, uh, as quickly as we can, and see if we can build a couple of thrusters. All right, we made it back. Did we make it back in time? Yeah, loads of time. I think I uh, over-exaggerated that a little bit. Uh, so yeah, take a look about. We can actually build one small thruster. We can even build two. I think I will. Thank you very kindly. Alright, we do need to probably eat, don't we? want to save that ration pack. So we'll have some energy bars. Alright, what else do we need? We probably want a generator of some sort. So, do you see that? There's a nice small generator there. And I do need a hover engine. So, that's something we're going to have to unlock. Again, this will be in the engineering tree down here. There we go. And I do hope we have enough. We don't. We're just short. Oh, maybe I should have been greedy with this, but I was. These are nice and light, aren't they? Chances are we might not even need it. Uh, but it's something we do need is that triethanol tri thingy. Yeah, I think we might need a bit more of that. We also want to get the oxygen generator running again. We do have all those purified water, so do you know what we can actually do is I'm going to put a few of them in there, just as a backup. Alright, so here we are at the, the vessel. Let's go ahead and place a generator in. Oh, hello. That's a brilliant sign. We do already have hover engines. Fan. Bloody-tastic. Got side engine there, so let's go ahead and add a Thruster. Got to be careful about the placement here. I'm thinking one to the side. Where's the side one here? You're up there. And that's where the core is. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and place this over here. I'll do. Okay. 
Looks like we might have some sort of working... Yes, we have a working hollow vessel. Oh, hell yeah. That's how you do it. It's slow as anything, but it's doing the job. This will do indeed for a little while. <laughs> it's ugly. <laughs> it needs quite a makeover. Something I'm not very good at doing, to be honest. Uh, how long will he last? You know what, you're not too bad actually. It'll last a little while. Okay, we've already gone to that junk storage, so we can actually go and explore the planet a bit more. Something I do want to do though is build a core, and we want to take that detector off the other one. We probably want to add a medium thruster here instead. Really just sort of bulk this thing up a bit, and uh, I don't know what's meant to be here. It looks like the thrusters are meant to be there to be honest, but whatever. Alright, let's place you in here. Alright, how are we looking? Not bad at all. Uh, but we do want another court, so what I'm going to do, I think, is leave it here for now. We're going to build another core, and we're going to go down back to that uh, hover vessel, take the detector off it, take the thrusters off of it. Probably should have taken the fridge, shouldn't I? Never mind. Stupid me. Do you? Ha what do you have? We can actually go through the components. So devices. We've got two fuel tanks, two hover engines, which are both on the same side. Interesting. Barely functional. No storage. Something we do want to add is maybe some cargo, like so. A couple of cargo boxes. I think that's the way to do it. So we have a little look here. You get more storage out of ones like this, but of course you do run the risk of wrecking the aesthetic. Although I think we've got a nice little bit, the, bit on top here we can use. Oh no, that's that's facing the wrong way. Oh, that's a shame. Perhaps on top here then. Yeah, maybe that'll work. It's good enough. <laughs> it's not pretty, uh, but it will do. So let's go ahead and throw these on. All right, that gives us an extra 500 storage, so we can actually go about with all of this. Uh, yeah, pretty happy. All right, so that's pretty good part one. I feel we didn't die. That is wonderful news. Managed to do it without dying, barely. We almost starved to death, but thankfully not quite. Uh, ooh, did I put the oxygen in here? Why did I do that? Also, let's eat the mushroom. Because we can. That I found. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. So, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time where we're going to work on the hover vessel a little bit. And we're going to just kind of explore our starter planet here. I assume it's just going to be loads and loads of junkyards. But, well, what do you expect? It's Star Salvage, baby. Got to salvage something from nothing. So, uh... Yeah, that should be all right. Mantara, I assume. Yeah, that's a, a planet or a moon. It's going to be fun exploring all of this. It's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.